the opening of a permanent parking ride structure for the Pine Hill community. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I, I, before I proceed, I would like to introduce Steph Millard, my predecessor. Uh, he's, he's from all the way to this is Steph. He was my he was the pre previous board director of this district. Uh, Um, this is a project that the community has been wanting for many years, and we are excited that the vision is becoming a reality, Monday. And it's been a, a collaborative effort, and I'm proud of the work that has been done regionally to see this project through. Thank you, CDOT. Um, I would like to thank the Colorado Department of Transportation for their grant money, past the money that uh, contributed, uh, that made this facility possible. Uh, I would also like to thank the Pine Junction community, especially the Riders of 285 Coalition. Yeah, well represented here today. Uh, and that continue to stay positive and work with RTD to complete this project. Uh, I would also like to thank the county commissioners from Jefferson County. I don't think there's any representation here from, from that group, but uh, we do have a couple of our county commissioners, one at least, Jeff Hodges, and, and one that's John. John, there you are, John. John Ty, who's no longer ex-commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm going to introduce Pam Beckhorn, President of the Riders of the 285 Coalition. green t-shirts here and these are the t-shirts for the Riders 285 Coalition. We brought some extras and uh, if anybody would like one please feel free to take one. We're proud to wear them. It's just such an incredible day and we have to begin with our sincerest gratitude to a number of people and first of all I've got to congratulate and thank our director Bruce Daly Bruce, you've been with us through this whole ride, and you have become our friend, and we want to keep that friendship going. So thank you for everything that you have done. Yeah. Yeah. And just to RTD in general, we've met so many wonderful people, the engineers that built this great park and ride, and, and public relations people. Julia, it's a great job that you guys have done today. So thank you, RTD, and big, Woo! big thanks to CDOT. We wouldn't be here without you guys, that's for sure. And we also wanted to make sure we mentioned the builder, um, Sym Symmetry Builders. You did a fabulous job here, and between the engineers from RTD and between the <laughs> contractor, um, as my husband likes to say, it's a beautiful park and ride. It looks like it grew here. <laughs> Um, Steph, it's just, <coughs> our hearts are just so thrilled to have you and Judy here. Thank you for coming. You were one of the very first people that we contacted when we formed the coalition, remember? And you helped us so much. 
get started on this project. So look at what's what's been accomplished. So thank you for that. Alan Fishman, I don't know if Mr. Fishman is here today, but he donated uh, fill, landfill to help this park and ride be made. Certainly, we can't forget our commissioners, our Jeffco commissioners, and our Park <coughs> County commissioners who stayed with us through this whole thing. And I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to give special thanks to former Park County Commissioner John Ty. John, <laughs> you were our mentor and our leader and we would not be standing here today if it weren't for your guidance. Thank you so much. It's really good to see you. Um, lastly, <laughs> and I don't even know how to talk about this, the Riders 285 Coalition. Could I ask the members of the Riders 285 Coalition to sit by, hi Pat, come on up here. I want everybody to see who you are. These are the people that got this job done. Nana. Hey, Sheree. Hi. Hi. Gather a little closer. Kind of a yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got everybody. Is Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Okay. Okay. Santa, everybody that we have today, we had such wonderful help here. And these people are your friends and your neighbors and your family members. And they stayed with this. They stayed from the beginning until today. So can't thank them enough. I thought it might be cool to briefly read to you our mission statement. It's very short, but I think it'll explain how we kept together through this whole time. It is the mission statement of the Riders 285 Coalition. We propose a working partnership between Riders, Community, RTD, Park and Jefferson County Commissioners, and CDOT to keep our current park and ride at Pine Junction operational until a permanent new park and ride can be built on the property purchased and currently owned by RTD for that purpose. <coughs> Increase community awareness and ridership. Retain reliable service for the Southwest Mountain commuters and their families who rely on the RTD lifeline to and from Denver and the surrounding areas intelligent and safely accommodate the major growth that is planned or in progress in our region. Turn a 29-year-old dream for a permanent park and ride into a reality, serving the community while ensuring public safety and simultaneously benefiting RTD, the county, and CDOT. You can tell this was written a while ago because it talks about a 29-year-old dream this was written October 2007. So let's hear it for the right. And finally, I want to say something that has been especially meaningful to me for all of these years. We are no longer a stepchild. We are, we are finally part of the RTD community. So thank you all for coming today. It's really good reason for celebrating. Thank you. In particular, who played an integral role in building this His name was Dave Avedon. He was a senior manager at RTD who had to had the foresight to purchase the land that was standing on many years ago. Uh, because he knew that we would eventually need it, uh, Rick Clark, uh, RTD Assistant General Manager of Capital Programs, is here to tell us a little bit about Dave and his vision, and that made up this project a reality. And I understand there's some family members here too, Rick. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, I also want to add uh, my thanks to everybody for coming out here. I want to also thank our project team who worked on it. Maybe if you guys could raise your hand. And they're led by Stan Zabelak, our manager. They such a great job. Um, you know, this project was a long time in coming. I started at RTD in 2000. 
we keep a tracking list of outstanding projects, and this was on the list. And uh, Dave worked there then. Dave uh, was the manager. He was a senior manager of facilities at RTD. He was responsible for these. And Dave, uh, you know, he, he really was a unique person. Uh, I know several members of his family are here. Uh, can I ask you to raise your hands? who was uh, also an RTD employee. I guess once an RTD employee, always an RTD employee. But, uh, thanks for coming out, Connie. Um, so um, yeah, I think it's really appropriate um, because I, I wanted to you know, get a good sense of Dave. I, I knew him for those three, four years. Um, but one thing everybody told me was how dedicated he was to his family. That was number one in his life, and that's how it should be. And I think the fact that you're all out here and that we're doing this for Dave, you know, ten years later, it says something to make an impression on people that ten years later that we'd all want to make this dedication. Uh, a few words about Dave. He was an original RTD employee. He started back in the 70s. Uh, a handful of people, even before RTD started running buses and trains and things like that, he was there planning the uh, all the great things that would eventually get done. Uh, Director Daly mentioned how he was instrumental in getting a lot of these mountain park and rides started. He saw that when CDOT was doing improvements, there was excess land. Well, can we do something with that land? Does it make sense to let it sit around? And he did all the negotiations and the planning and had the engineering to start getting these mountain park and rides going. And I think it's led to the culmination today. I think this is probably the nicest mountain park and ride that we have. And it's really appropriate that we'll remember Dave going forward permanently with the special dedication that we're making. So um, again, I think today is a day to celebrate because we're doing something great. These projects, like these mountain park and rides, are as important as our rail corridors. Sounds like my dog. Uh, so. Uh, let's do that memory and uh, we have a dedication up here that we're going to, uh, uh, that we'll be doing and we'll be here that you'll see as you use this park and ride. Maybe Connie you want to come up here too as we do this. Park County Commissioners to come up. Dick Hodges and John Nye. All right. All right. And now uh, we're going to first we're going to go on by this memorial to Dave. Cut, 
come this side. Well, thank you again for coming out this morning, everybody. Please help yourself to the refreshments. I want to remind everyone that the park and ride will be open for service beginning Monday. At that time, all routes will, will depart from here and there will no longer be a stop at the dirt lot at the corner. And no more nasty U-turn over there. Remember that one. All right, we will now cut the ribbon. Down. Ready? Okay. Are your scissors ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. We're open for business.